I just downloaded Animal Crossing. It will take 40 minutes. I'm glad I decided to do this now because Ben and I are gonna eat in a little bit. Hey! I think cooking's our favorite thing to do at the moment. Well, actually, no, eating's our favorite thing to do at the moment. I'm <laughs> That's true. There we are, guys. Wow. There's like five layers. I would pay good money for this at a restaurant. I have seen too many of these Targona coffee videos, and so I thought I would make it myself. Let's start stirring. Five minutes and counting. This is going to take a while. There has to be a better way. I need some reinforcement. I think it's very clear that you need instant coffee and not ground coffee because this is not whipping up at all. Okay, yeah, it's just too heavy. Okay. Let's see what happens if I mix it. This looks terrible. Mm, unappetizing and there's flakes all over it. We are back and this time I have the proper ingredient. So we're gonna try this again. I have a good feeling about this time. Wait, holy crap, this is so cool. It actually worked. Who would have thought you just needed the right ingredients for something to work? So now I've got some almond milk. I didn't expect this part to be, to feel so solid. It almost feels like a, like a meringue or something. I'm very excited for this. Here's a better view of them. Come on in, take a seat. Babe, thank you. Thank you. So what, what is this? What do we have here? So this is called the Targona coffee. I, wow. I don't know how to eat this actually. Do you eat it like that? Or mm. do you have it like... I think it's good when you need to mix it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that is... It really um, balances the flavors out, you know? The bitterness from the coffee, the mm -hmm. sweetness from the sugar. Mix it in. You got a balanced drink. It's like a frappuccino vibe. No, mm. that's instant coffee as well. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Before you educate the head, try to educate the heart. One thing that I have to be like super adamant about is like washing and cutting my produce as soon as I get it. Because there's not gonna be a time where I'm like, I wanna do this right now. It's like, no, like when I'm hungry, I just want to eat. I cut up two crowns of broccoli and I put it in my salad spinner just to get all the moisture out. This is the best invention. When I'm storing produce, I wanna make sure that everything is as dry as possible. Cause I've noticed that if it's a little bit wet, it could just go off a lot quicker. And then I put it in a Tupperware. If I wanted to go like above and beyond, I would just steam all of this and like pre-cook it and then put it in the fridge. And since it doesn't all fit, I'm just gonna steam it right now. I mean, I'm gonna steam it eventually. Okay, that just about works. I thought I 
would do a little check-in. I really enjoy my mornings, but once nighttime comes and like I finish my dinner, I have this feeling of like despair. Like I almost just want to like go to sleep and just have the, the day again. Like I just really, I, I just become more animated in the daytime. In the evenings is just when my heart really just feel so heavy about just everything that's going on. I think it's because there's no like big distractions for me in the evenings. My heart goes out to all the doctors, the nurses, the drivers, the grocery store workers, the people who have lost their jobs, the small businesses that are struggling. It's just like, I can't help but feel so helpless at this time. I don't know, like I, I've donated. We've raised over $5,000 to the Los Angeles Food Bank. By the way, thank you to everyone who donated to the fundraiser We've made some difference there, but it, it because you feel so detached from it, you feel like you're not doing anything. But yesterday night was very nourishing though, because I did have a Zoom party with the girls. I'm used to like working really hard, but I'm also used to like getting some type of reward. Like after I work really hard, I have like some sort of release. I get to like see my friends, I get to see my family, I get to, you know, go on a hike, go out, like something. But now that, that is that's been taken out of the equation, I'm like I'm struggling to find things that I find rewarding. This has been a big change for everybody. And uh, there are days where I definitely feel are easier to get by. And then there are definitely days where I don't feel the greatest. Welcome guys to uh, We Garden. We as Garden. You see, as you can see here, we have set up our own office outside. We're lucky enough to have a garden, so why not make the use, the use of it? It's a lovely day. Jen's gonna come join me. Yeah. We've got, we've got a trash can, we've got a plant. Where's the trash can? Classical music. Oh, there's the bin. Chippo's, Chippo's office. Is there anything else we can get you to help you feel settled? Um, we, have, we have power, we have water, we have, we have trash, we have pens behind you there, coaster, we've got this. Any knickknacks and stuff, you can pop them in there, pop it in there, anything you need. Oh. Uh, we do you, what's the service. Wi-Fi? Um, the Wi-Fi, it's just on the, uh, you're actually already logged in because you Oh, you're here. right. Yeah, wow. <laughs> When you were younger, you didn't see things quite the same as you do now. But now you're older, you find that sometimes you wish you had stayed a clown. Never ever knowing whether you're coming or going. Yeah, I ordered a mirror on Pottery Barn in January. And with all the delays, it finally is coming today, so... It's a big day, very excited. So it's gonna go in this section over here. And I just received a text saying that they're gonna be here in like 20 minutes, so Thank we are preparing God. the station. It is a big I day. I get to look at myself all the time, every day. You're going to be seeing some uh, product shots in this mirror. That's true. To yourself. Oh, 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 the secret to yourself. I hope that you're from my own flesh and blood. Gave you life already. In order to make exercise like exciting and doable for the majority of the week, I have to switch it up. Cause there was a minute where I was like jogging every day and by like the fifth day I was like, I am so over these streets. For this whole quarantine, I have been exercising for the majority of the week because it's just like, it's an activity that I enjoy like after. Like I'm always, I always feel so much better after it. But my thing is it's hard to keep things like spicy and exciting. So I have like a nice rotation of like jogging outside and then I'll do like some workouts on YouTube. But this is my first time ever doing like Chloe Ting's ab challenge. Like it's amazing. She has these free programs on her website. She tells you what to do every single day for 28 days and you see results. And I've never done this challenge so it would be really cool to see what my abs or my stomach looks 
um, afterwards. Also a little tip for people who are doing YouTube videos. Sometimes I feel like when I listen to the video the first time, I'm like, oh, like this is exciting because it's new. But, but by the time you're listening to the video like the second or third time, I just get it's not that I get agitated, but I'm just kind of like, oh, I've heard this before. I feel It feels like Groundhog Day. So what I like to do is I just put on my earphones and then I'll put on my own playlist. I go on Blauhouse's SoundCloud and he has these like 30 minute sets where you feel like you're in the Sahara tent at Coachella. It's, it's amazing. I've been particularly liking Ultra 2015. The pacing of the songs are great because it's like 30 to 40 seconds of the best part of the song and then he like seamlessly changes it to the next banger. And yeah, it makes exercising really cool. Like if I ever get to a point where I'm like, oh, I don't wanna do this anymore. I just focus on the music and I'm like, oh yeah, like this is what it's like to be at a festival. This is me doing the up, up, down, down. I hate those planks. And today we'll be doing a morning meditation to help you open your heart for the possibilities of a brand new day. Nothing quite tops this feeling of like having exercised, having showered, and having meditated. Like this trio, it works beautifully. This meditation really pointed out why I like morning so much, especially during this time. Like when I wake up, I feel like there's so much possibility. Like the fact that I've already done two good things for myself. I've realized instead of being sad, being like, oh, I'm only happy in the mornings, I think it's time to really be grateful. Like, well, at least I feel happy and hopeful in the mornings. Like how terrible would it feel if I woke up and I was like, just in despair? I would rather have some happiness in the day rather than none. If you guys are really struggling in the morning, I try this combination, like exercise, for like at least 20 minutes, get your body moving, get a little bit of a, a sweat, not like dripping in sweat, but just like a nice sheen of sweat. And then give yourself a nice shower, do 10 minutes of meditation and see how you feel. Ben and I just filmed our first like peaceful ASMR video. It took two runs. Honestly, hats off to people who do these types of ASMR content. I've been obsessed with these like peaceful Korean everyday vlogs where there's just like captions at the bottom that are hopeful and just remind you to like find the beauty and simplicity. So I thought that I would make my own. I'm really excited for you guys to watch this, but we're just putting the finishing touches. Also, I got a package. I got these almond flour cheddar crackers. Uh, my girlfriends were raving about them and they're like, you gotta try it. So I was like, okay. Ooh, they smell like the goldfish nacho blast. You know what, when they have like the extra cheesy flavor? And this is what the cracker looks like. It feels like a wheat thin. Wow. If Cheez-Its and wheat thins had a baby, it would be this. Dang, this really packs a punch. I didn't expect for it to taste like this. And the ingredients are really clean. Voiceover lines one through four. Looks clean, but smells dirty. I wanna make today a little bit special. So we're gonna do the hair, maybe some brows, concealer, I don't know. I just wanna feel a little bit special today because I am celebrating something. I launched my book club. It's called Curl Up Club. It's on Instagram. I've been working on this for several weeks now on my free time. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but never really came into fruition because it just felt like, oh, like when am I gonna have the time to do that? The time is now and it's up. Already the response has been so amazing and positive. Like it's so refreshing to get like, I don't know, like like kind of like a, it feels like a fresh start for me. Cause I know I have like my social media platforms, but this feels really different. Like this feels really special. And I think it's just gonna be a really beautiful, safe haven where we could all just come and read together and discuss books. Um, I know I've been getting a lot of questions of, about like, oh, how's this gonna happen? Is there just gonna be a book a month? How are we gonna discuss it? Well, we have it all planned. So April's pick is World War Z. I've already announced it on the Instagram. Like honestly, by the time you guys go on there, there's gonna be like so much content. And although World War Z is quite bleak, I picked it because it mirrored how I've been feeling emotionally about this pandemic. And honestly, reading about a pandemic where it's like, I don't know, a hundred times worse than ours, it gave me some sort of comfort. It's kind of sick and twisted, but 
I can't help, that's the way my mind works. Because I'm like, oh hey, at least we're not turning into zombies and civilization hasn't collapsed. It was really refreshing to read an action book because these days it's been really difficult for me to get into TV shows. For some reason, I just enjoy reading a book where there's just so much going on because it's like a workout for my brain. Like a workout that I like because I'm like imagining these like crazy scenarios. It's cool to get this like visceral reaction out of a book and I thought that it would just be a good first pick and I enjoyed it. So yeah, Curl Up Club is live. Feel free to join the community. Yeah, we've got a lot in store for you guys from like the Instagram stories to the templates and I don't know, it's just really exciting. Also because I've never done like a book club before so there's like a lot, a lot of novelty in it. I have been seeing this brand everywhere. Like a lot of my friends use this, Kosa's. Oh, by a lot of my friends, I mean I've, I've seen Sophie use this. And she says she really likes it, so I kind of want to try it. I don't know what what color I am. This one is six. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, it's still really oily. Okay. Let's put it on my face. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is a little bit too dark. Let me just really distribute it. Wow, damn, there's like actually a decent amount of coverage in this. Like look at how it just blended out so beautifully. This might give my Bite Beauty foundation a run for its money. Wait, okay, so that was six. Maybe I'll try the 5.5. I always feel like a tagger when I get these shaking bottles. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, um, I'm gonna save this for the future. That looks good, guys. Wow. I've been noticing that I've been watching a lot more like organizational videos on YouTube. I ordered a bunch of like drawer dividers on Container Store. But yeah, once that comes in, definitely gonna do that fun project. Okay, I think this is the look. Maybe I'll powder a lip. No, 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 we're not gonna powder. Let's just see what it looks like at the end. Okay. Okay, yes, this is the finished look from head to toe. We've got my slippers from Parachute. And then I'm just wearing this midi skirt from, I'll put the label here. But this <laughs> skirt does have a tendency to wrinkle. And then I'm wearing my Death Leopard long sleeve, which is literally so soft. I also wanna share with you guys another thing that's been really helping with my quarantine. If you're not into schedules and planning, then this might not be your cup of tea. But for someone who likes certainty in a time of like deep uncertainty, having a set out schedule, even on the weekends, helps me out. I look so neurotic, but you know what? Maybe I am, maybe I am a little neurotic. I'm sorry if I'm yelling, but this system has really helped me. So today is Saturday and I've kind of, I've written out what I need to do hour by hour. So I make this schedule the night before cause it gives me something to do. And I do find a lot of enjoyment in this. It's not like I have to like obey every hour, but it just helps out. Like, let's say like I'm just meandering at 2.45. I'm like, okay, what should I be doing? I can go on here and be like, oh, well, three to 4 p.m. is read and take notes. So then that just gives me like a peace of mind. And then on from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. is Animal Crossing. The thing with Animal Crossing is I got into this big hole. I like could not stop playing it. At the beginning of the game, you're given these goals that are just out of reach. Like if you just find like six more specimens, then you get like a museum. And then if you just pay, get a couple more, like a couple thousand bells, like you can pay off this. I think I need to get back into the flow of my Animal Crossing and like less like another thing I had to do and more of just like a peaceful experience. Because there was like a moment where I was like, damn, like now I have two mortgages to pay. Like it felt like so much responsibility and like it felt like a grind. Like I'd wake up and I was like, all right, it's time to grind and get my bells and water my plants and you know trim these trees and shake the trees and cut them. It, just, it just felt like so many things I had to do. I don't know, I just felt like I had my life responsibilities and then I had my AC responsibilities. So I gave it a break, but I'm ready to like incorporate it back into my system. Currently we're doing cauliflower, roasted cauliflower, mm -hmm. roasted aubergine, eggplant. I always never frame you. We've got some aubergine going on here. <laughs> 
Sometimes he does get get on my level to see what the perspective is like. Yes, yeah, nice. you forget that that is a difference, you know. It is a big difference. Like trying to get the big drawers, it's uh. Yeah, so we're just bulk cooking, so that way we could just have stuff ready in the fridge, which is yeah. nice. We're gonna make our everyday sauce because we, you know, we don't want to just tell people what to do and not do it ourselves. You we know? <laughs> It is like honestly, it's like a big staple of ours. It's it so versatile. And this is proof, guys. It is proof. I'm also gonna do. Um, we got uh, bell pepper, feta cheese. Just gonna stuff, cut it in half, stuff it, stuff it in the oven. Just have that as a snack. Delicious. veggie bar where you can serve yourself whatever you want got love island on obviously season four now all right so this is the finished product it's not the most visually appealing but i'm pretty sure it'll be good We've got roasted veggies zucchini bell pepper eggplant cauliflower and then i've got my lovely pasta with my shirataki noodles i basically got the same but just with naughty pasta mm. Mmm. Mm. Gets the job done. Mm -hmm. With the shirataki noodles, it's so important that you fry them first. Because I thought just boiling them would be fine. No. You gotta boil them, and then dry them, and then fry them. Boil them, then dry, dry them, then, then fry them. them. Mm -hmm. You got a boil, <laughs> you get a point. So we have eaten, and as you can see, we have a little bit of leftover pasta here. We've also got a little bit of leftover pasta sauce here, which is the everyday sauce, as you know. We've got some roasted vegetables there, and you'd think that's enough for leftovers, but no, it's not. We've also got some cauliflower, which we roasted in the oven, and if, you know, that's quite a lot for leftovers after one meal. Have we got any more? Yes, we do have any more. We've got some red pepper with feta, which is just a nice little appetizer that we do for tonight. So that's it. That is, hang on a minute, there's one more, and we've got some roasted salmon as well. So just as a leftover for dinner, let me repeat, leftover, we got pasta with sauce, we got sauce with roasted vegetables, we got cauliflower, we got some feta, and we got a little bit of roasted pepper there, and we got some salmon to finish it off. <laughs> this is my room. As you can see, I've really uh, gone for the whole bunny day theme. I really like the way it looks at night because all the garlands come on and you know everything just comes to light. This session was a good intro section back to Animal Crossing. Feels good. I like reorganized my trees. I got all the items needed for my neighbors that are about to come in. So that'll be really exciting because I like something to look forward to. I'm pretty beat. It's like 9.09. Wow. I'm already so tired. I think I'm gonna wash my face. But I wanted to show you guys how the Kosa's tinted face oil held up. I like how it hasn't like settled in to any of my fine lines or anything. Normally with foundation, there is something that's like kind of caked in, especially in this area. What's it called? Like nasal, nasal fillops? There's like a specific word for this area, but there's no residue or just cakiness that happens here or buildup. Yeah, it just like settled in really nicely. I mean, obviously, I think I think I'm gonna put a powder on it. Maybe we'll try that out some other time, but I really like it. I am very shiny. Like, look at my forehead. Wow, it's glistening in all angles. 360, baby. 